Thank you for supporting Glaring Info channel. Party crisis. Labour Party state chairman speaks as plot to suspend Peter Obi tickets. Yeah. This one our topic. The Labour Party cannot suspend Peter Obi. I tell you, it's not going to work. Peter Obi gave life and breath to Labour Party. Immediately Peter Obi leaves that party, Peter Obi will go with his glory and the Labour Party will die. And they know that. And anywhere he goes, any party he joins again or any party he forms will take the glory and it will start booming again. So Labour Party be wise. That is it. The 36th state chairman of the Labour Party alongside the Federal Capital Territory has refused speculation suggesting a plot to suspend the party's leader and presidential candidate in 2023 general election, Mr. Peter Obi. It can be recalled that a report went viral over the weekend that the party chairman, Julius Aburi, was conspiring to suspend Obi over his public call for an audit of the party's finances following allegations of financial impropriety leveled against him. Aburi, by the party's national treasurer, uh, including Magbure, but okay, was leveled against him by the party national treasurer, Oluchi Okpara. So, dismissing the rumors as the handiwork of detractors, the state chairman made their stance clear during a solidarity visit to Aburi at the party's national headquarters in Abuja on Tuesday. Speaking on behalf of his colleagues, chairman of the council of the state chairman of the party. CK Igara affirmed their satisfaction with the day-to-day -day management of party affairs by the Aburi-led National Working Committee. We also want to use this opportunity to debunk the allegation that the Labour Party is planning to suspend our national leader, Peter V. Igara stated. Our party is under the worst siege ever, including unleashing fierce propaganda against the party. Furthermore, Igara emphasized that the party had not contemplated the suspension of Peter Obi and retreated his position as the party's leader. So he underscored Obi's commitment to leading the party towards alleviating the nation's uh, challenges. The party has not at any time contemplated the suspension of our leader. He remains our leader and we continue to lead the party in our avowed determination to pull this nation out from the strangulation under this present uh, government. Mm. We are also using this opportunity to beg our media friends to seize, okay, from ongoing media trial uh, against our party and its leaders. What you are witnessing now is orchestrated and will fizzle out very soon, he added, okay. So in a bid to dispel rumors and address concerns, Igara highlighted the purpose of the visit, emphasizing their confidence in Aburi's leadership and the transparent management of party affairs. He also addressed allegations of mismanagement of party funds, um, refuting claims of missing funds and misappropriation. We can confirm that the party only realized 1.3 million naira during the 2023 general election, Igara clarified. All these monies were lodged in the banks and were promptly receipted. So the audit is also clear about the money generated during the off-season elections and how it was managed. Additionally, Igara denounced the activities of a group he described as urchins, purportedly claiming to be party officials at the state level. He emphasized that these individuals were not recognized members of the party, dismissing their actions as contrary to the party's uh, objectives. So in conclusion, Igara reiterated the party's commitment to its goals and expressed confidence in Aburi's leadership. The Council of the Chairman unanimously passed a vote of confidence in the national chairman and its executive, reaffirming their dedication to advancing the party's uh, agenda. And that's a very good one to debunk all the rumors. I tell you, the kind of uh, problem and crisis that is in the Labour Party is obviously orchestrated by the moles in the party, planted by the opposition. Okay, so the likes of Arab and B and Apapa, okay, are the people causing all these uh, 
problem at state level, at national level, at everywhere. The likes of Oluchi, I think the truth will come out when the audit is done, and investigation is done, because Oluchi seems to be working for all those people too. Um, so Julius Abure is a very smart man and a legal luminary for that matter, and he knows what he's doing. Now, Labour Party is treading on the platform of integrity, and they cannot afford to jeopardize that at this moment. So now that Higara has spoken, uh, the chairman of the committee of uh, state chairman of Labour Party, uh, it's obvious that the party is still bonded together. All their members, all their officials, all the executives are still bonded together. And that bond is what is going to sustain them, and they need to hold themselves uh, very tight. Hmm. Oh, wow. So let me see there are a few comments from a few individuals reacting to what Igara has said. Peter Obi is the first lift of the Labour Party, first lift of Labour Party, that's correct. Any attempt to carry out any suspension due to his outcry for external audit of the party finances will permanently remove Labour Party from the third force in the Nigerian polity. They should know that. So they need to be very, 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 very careful. They should know that. Peter B is the life and breath of Labour Party. And once he leaves, he goes with his life and breath and the party will die. The party will suffocate and die. That is the truth. The plot could be sponsored, but it will not work. They they have they have cause to panic. Mr. B has more grounds to contest 2027 elections and win for Nigerians. That is it. In every rumor, there must be an atom of truth. Even if you pick kick him out from Labour Party, any other party he chooses will attract so many people eh, and liquidate your own party. So can you remember that it is his presence in Labour Party that gave the Labour Party the true name it has today? Of course. Of course. Obi has ebonized the Labour Party. They will have to get rid of him soon and fast. Obi is bad luck and a loser. Okay. So who was Labour Party? Where was Labour Party before Obi joined? So you should look at that. So why have these zombies not speak about the theft in the hierarchy of the party and the illegal suspension of the treasurer who blew the lead open? Okay, go and check now. Why didn't you go and send EFCC to go and check them? Why is Labour Party stupid? Who knows Labour Party? If you remove Peter B, okay, what will happen? Without Peter B, Labour Party is absolutely nothing. Of course, it will be dead. Blockheads know that it is Obi's goodwill that Labour Party stands. Obi is Labour Party and Labour Party is you and the Labour Party is you want to dig your own graves. Yeah? Look for another thing to say. Meanwhile, how are you enjoying the subsidy remover? Not a joke. Is Labour Party still existing? Of course. Why? <laughs> Don't you know? Hmm? Don't you know they can't remove Obi? If they remove Obi, the party will collapse. I think that the air has been cleared properly, and uh, and the uh, situation is still under control in that party, irrespective of the orchestrated uh, crisis rocking it.